Art is not just something to look at. Art is not just something that comes inside of a gallery. Art is not just something that creates profit. Art is something that gives hope. Art has no barriers to language. Everybody can see and observe it and take something out of it. Art is a powerful tool in order to motivate folks to, to move into what it is that they're passionate about. That's why for me, when I'm teaching art, one of the things that I try to incorporate is social justice and art activism and show them the, the power and the empowerment that art can create when you create something for, for change, for immigration, for workers' rights, for social justice, for a cause that not only adults but students feel important and feel like they, they have the power to change. As a teacher in K-8, through I am... During the day, I kind of call it like, I teach educational art. And during the night, I teach citizenship classes. When it comes to education, I feel like education needs to have that connection within community, within education, or within story. So if we're able to create like that connection within our students, with our youth, with even our adults that are still in the process of learning, then we're able to create a better future. And when I work with my young people, it gives me kind of like that power and that inspiration to keep on creating art. When I work with my older adults, when it comes to citizenship classes that I have, it, it gives me that motivation that there's never an age where you stop learning and there's never an age where you stop being thankful for what you know. We need people that will keep our families together. We want to go around here and live here. We want to leave us strength. I think uh, labor movements are a big part of education, of citizenship, of immigration rights. They come together to say how our story is not done, our story is not finished. We are not just the only people that are going to end up in our history. We need to push it forward for our children, for our education, and for our future. Our truths are our lives. Our truths are our stories. Our truth is our children. And we need to listen to that truth. The truth is not so much as talking as far as being able to hear each other out. Our empowerment is to be able to give that hope for our families, to give our hope for our educators, to give our hope for our children. There's hope because there's struggles. There's strength because there's times where we feel that we can do it alone, or we can do it alone. I want to create something, to create a change for what it is that I want to fight for. So it's that beauty that power and empowerment come together with an art. And how students, no matter what age they are, no matter how old they are, can still create and still put forward for progress.